There are two major rivers in Iraq, Euphrates and Dijla. These are two major rivers. They go, of course, all the way, also go to Syria, Turkey. So it's a long, long river. But one of them is very significant in regards to the event of the Day of Judgment, the Euphrates River. And this is the hadith in which the Prophet is speaking about the significance of this river to the event of the last few days of this life. The Messenger of Allah said that the hour will not come to pass before the river Euphrates dries up to unveil a mountain of gold for which people will fight. 99 out of 100 will die in fighting over that goal. With that ratio being so off, still every one of them would say what? Perhaps I may, but the only one to remain alive. What does that mean? They knew about this hadith and everybody will say, well, the Prophet says 99, one will survive. Maybe I'm the one who's going to survive. Another narration, the Prophet ﷺ said, the time is very near when the river Euphrates will dry up to unveil the treasure of gold. Then he said, ﷺ, now he's given his instruction to us. Whosoever may be alive at that time should not take anything of it. Like, don't participate, don't fight for it. This event will happen near the Day of Judgment. When? Allahu A'lam. Perhaps, Wallahu A'lam, this could happen after the time of Isa alayhi salam comes down. Because during his time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will restore peace for more than 40 years, will be peace and tranquility when Isa gone alayhi salam from this world, people will go back again sometimes to old habits. And part of that will be greed. Now, why would the effort dry up? Anyway, many reasons. Climate change is one of them. As we speak, it's clear that it's receding. The water is receding. Some of them, they say, because of the multiple dams that have been built on the way. Pacific right now, Turkey actually had a, a major project on these rivers. And as a result, of course, it would reduce the water that's going all the way down to Iraq, for example. Also in Syria, the same thing. They have the same project. And as a result, the waters start trickling down. Whatever is left, it's going to be nothing. With the climate change and the rise of temperatures, subhanAllah, in any moment, this could happen in that place. So when the Prophet says, it will reveal a mountain of gold. Is that for real? Like, is it really a mountain of gold or that just a metaphor? Although some, they say it's a metaphor, but the hadith is very clear. The Prophet says, a mountain of gold. Now, what type of gold? Some contemporary scholars or Muslim يعني, thinkers, they thought that, look, this probably is talking about oil because that area is rich with oil. Why so? Because in Arabic, what do we call the oil? They call it al aswad black gold. So said, maybe that's the gold the Prophet was talking about. But no, that's not. The actual condition of the river right now that's receding to a very dangerous levels, historic levels, never before. And as a result, some of those old cities, because you know that area was the land of what? Mesopotamia. That once used to be one of the greatest nations of civilization of all time. And there must be a lot of lost treasures buried down there. Could that be what's going to be revealed afterwards? Allahu Alam. It's possible. And the Prophet mentioned that from the amount of wealth that will be out there, he said people will see istuanat, which means like columns of gold. Literally like a huge column of gold thrown in the way, people pass by it, no one cares about it. Now why don't care about it? One of two things, whether because of righteousness and contentment or because of abundance, I don't need it. I have enough. Allahu Ta'ala.